Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we do some practice examples on probability distribution finding expected values. In our last class, we clearly discussed about how to find the expected value. These examples will help you a lot in understanding when to use the expected value. So please watch your previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, our first example, a dice is tossed three times. See, we, we toss a dice and it is, uh, we are doing that experiment three times. We consider success as tossing one or six. If you toss one or six, it is a success. Remaining is failure. Find the mean of success. See, the point you have to understand Find the mean of the success. How to do that? Find the mean of the success. Let's take our random variable x is number of success. Number of success is equal to we are tossing the dice three times. So zero success, one success, two success, three success. For this, we have to find the mean of the success. That is what we are going to do. That is what expected value means. So first you have to find the probabilities of zero success, one success, two success and three success. So probability of success is given as a 2 by 6. Why we got 2 by 6? Either uh, So what's our success is? 1 or 6. Means 2 out of 6. Uh, 2 by 6. That is 1 by 3. Probability of failure is 1 minus 1 by 3. That is equal to 2 by 3. So probability of random variable x is equal to 0 means 0 success. 2 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 3. First time it is a failure. Second time it is a failure. Third time it is a failure. That is given as 8 by 27. So how we got this? 2 by 3 is the failure. First time all these are independent events. The first one is not dependent on the second one. Second one is not dependent on the third one. That's why independent values. This is how we got the probability values. How we got this probability values? We already done so many examples in our previous classes. That's why we are not uh, explaining this equation. How we got this? Hoping that you already have that intuition from our previous classes. So probability of x is equal to 1 is a 1 success. Comes from first one is success. First when you toss the dice first time success. Failure, failure or failure, success, failure or failure, failure, success. That is 12 by 27. Similarly probability of x is equal to 2 is a success, success, failure, success, failure, success. Failure, success, success. That is equal to 6 by 27. Probability of x is equal to 3 means all success. 1 by 3, 1 by 3. That is the 1 by 27. Now our distribution table likes, uh, looks like this. Uh, for 0, 8 by 27, 1, 12 by 27, 2, 6 by 27, 3, 1 by 27. These are the number of success. We toss it for 3 times. Now expected value is sigma i is equal to 0 to 3 x i p i. This is the expected value we have to identify. Mean of the mean of our random variable x. That if you do this calculation that is equal to 1. So expected value is expected number of success is 1. Means mean of the success is. See our question says find the mean of the success is 1. That is what we have identified. Now coming to the second example, two dice are thrown, x is a random variable, random variable is given as maximum of first device value comma second device value. These values are given as a comma b. So two dice show up some different values, what's, what's the values we will have on the dice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, out of this we have to take the maximum of first or second, maximum of first and second. Which one is having the maximum value, that value is, has been taken from the as a random variable find the probability distribution and mean for this they are going to ask uh, find the probability distribution and mean value x is equal to see our random variable can say uh, can uh, values can be 1 2 3 4 5 6 because these are the values that are available on the dice so probability of x is equal to 1 when we are going to take the, our uh, random variable x is value as 1 if it is 1 comma 1, what is the maximum of 1 comma 1? 1. That's why our random variable x is equal to 1. How many chances are there to obtain this uh, probability? 1 by 36. Similarly, probability of x is equal to 2. When we are going to take our random variable as 2? 1 comma 2, what's the maximum? 2. 2 comma 2, what's the maximum? 2. 2 comma 1, what's the maximum? 2. So 3 by 36 is our probability. Similarly, 
probability of x is equal to 3 is 5 by 36, x is equal to 4 is 7 by 36, x is equal to 5 is 9 by 36, x is equal to 6 is 11 by 36. Our probability distribution looks like this. x 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the probability values. If you want to find the expected value, expected value is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 by 36, 2 multiplied by 3 by 36. The equation, this multiplied by this, summation of all this. That is 4 multiplied by 7 by 36, 5 multiplied by 9 by 36, 6 multiplied by 11 by 36. Our expected value is 4.47. This is how we use the expected value. Hope you understand the examples. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.